Hello, everyone. Welcome to Aptera Owners Club. Um, before I get started, we have a Discord channel. The link is in the description. Please feel free to join if you want to hang out with us on the Discord channel. Um, this video is kind of a potpourri of investment stuff. Uh, I saw this recent SEC filing from Aptera. Uh, it was dated January 13, 2022, so I'm about a week behind on this. But basically, this is just an update. It's only one page, and they're, they're basically saying that they're increasing their stock price for the offering to $9.20. This is up from $8.80, so they're increasing a little bit. The previous jump was from $4.40 to $8.80, and before that, um, I believe during the WeFund around, it was like less than a dollar um, per share. Um, those of you guys who got in earlier, let us know what your prices were. But currently, um, when they open up their next round of crowdfunding, looks like their sh per share price has gone up a little bit uh, from $8.80 to $9.20 a share. So this made me think it uh, might be a good idea or might be fun to go through the other EV stocks and some of the other companies that we've talked about on this channel. So let's just start with the big gun, uh, Tesla. Um, so Tesla had a huge run up over the summer, peaks out in around November at uh, thir about 1200, and then it's dropped down to about 940. So you know it's lost about 30 percent of um, its its value in the past month and a half to two months. Rivian, who I who IPO'd uh, at about 100 dollars a share back in early November, they they climbed up to like one, 172. They were riding high. And then it's been a gradual decline, and they are now sitting at $64 a share, so below their IPO price. Um, so they're, I think if you'll see a pattern here. November was like the peak of um, EV madness or EV fever on the market. And so you'll see Lucid Group. Um, they IPO'd a while back. They were kind of holding steady. And then in November, there was a huge pull up to like $55 a share or so. Uh, and then there's been this kind of gradual decline down to $37. Um, I actually invested in Lucid at like $50 a share. So it hasn't been working out too good for me. Um, there is uh, the Sono Group. This, these are the guys that run the Sono Scion, which is the five-passenger, four-door station wagon EV from Germany. And they IPO'd at like $40 a share, which I thought was uh, good for Aptera. But unfortunately, there has been this uh, steady downward trend, and they are now sitting at $6.25 a share. So, you know, they also hit the market. I think they timed their IPO perfectly for the company to raise uh, funding because they hit it at the peak of EV fever in November. So they timed it perfectly. I think if they IPO'd now, they would not have raised nearly as much money. All right, so here's Archimoto. Archimoto um, has been having you know, issues with production. So you know, they've just been setting kind of, you know, not huge fluctuations, but yeah, they've, they've been slowly trending down too. And they're sitting at $6 a share. Electromechanica Solo, they were doing um, okay. And then I think people realized the car is probably not going to do great. And it's down at $1.97 uh, a share. I don't know when it becomes considered a penny stock, but um, I think Electromechanica Solo is headed there. Okay, QuantumScape. This is the um, solid state battery company. It's one of the big players. Again, you see the huge rise in November, around November. Um, this is at the peak of uh, EV um, fever, and then there's been this pretty sharp decline, especially in this last week. They're down at $15.72 a share. Solid power, same kind of thing. They were kind of hanging out. They got, they got a little run up in uh, November, and they're down to $7.62 a share. So this is the other uh, major um, company that's focused on solid-state batteries. Lordstown Motor. Um, this is the company that um, is also using the Alafe motors. They're making the truck, and uh, they had a little bump up here, um, and then a uh, gradual downward trend to $2.40 a share. This is uh, 
BYD. This is a Chinese EV company and also a big battery company. Warren Buffett is a big investor in this. Warren Buffett invested in them actually back about, I think, 15 years ago. So I think he invested like back in here. And so he's doing great. He's, he, I think he bought in at like somewhere in the two, three dollar range. And, um, but if you look at more recently, they've been pretty stable. They're, many of you guys may not have heard of them, but they're a huge battery manufacturer and they're a big player in the Chinese market and they are moving into the US and European markets. So um, they're, they're kind of an 800 pound gorilla, kind of like Tesla. All right, so here's Canoe. And uh, again, you see the same pattern, big run up in November and steady downward trend. And, you know, this is not just EV stocks. The market has been kind of terrible overall uh, in the past week. I mean, there's been, uh, here's the S&P 500. In the last week, they've shed, you know, probably 10, 12% of um, value. So it's, it's, it's been rough. But you see, it's been kind of relatively stable for the overall market. But for uh, EV stocks, you know, there was definitely this, this peak of... Um, uh, of interest in the market in, in November and ever since then it's been it's been downhill so you see yeah November was, November was a good month and I, I, I think some of it was driven by the success of Rivian and uh, you know Rivian released mar um, cars then Lucid released cars in November and people were like wow all these new EV companies are going to make it and then people kind of came to their senses and realize, hmm, maybe not. And so the valuations are going down. Uh, Tesla uh, is going down a little bit too, because I think obviously Tesla is, in my opinion, overvalued. But of course, um, th I'm the idiot that didn't uh, get into Tesla back when it was like $40 a share. Um, and even at $600 a share, you would, you're still doing good if you started six months ago. But okay, uh, if this is interesting, maybe I'll make this kind of a monthly monthly thing where we kind of go over the different stocks and see where what the market thing um, market uh, interest in EVs is. I think if Aptair tried to go IPO now, it would not be a good time. They would not generate much interest. Um, what needs to happen for Aptera is like some more good news needs to happen. Like Rivian really starts pumping out uh, more cars and doing well and Lucid does well and some other car companies start delivering well and then there's a little more interest and then um, Aptera can uh, hit the market. But right now, I think interest is very low. Uh, the overall market is depressed. Um, and so uh, IPO at this time for Aptera probably would not generate that much, um, that much interest or that much funding. So hopefully by the time that they plan on going IPO later on this year, uh, the market conditions will have changed for the better uh, for their sake. Okay, uh, any comments, uh, comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.